This is NBC 25 News at 11. According to the National Institutes of Health, a concussion is the most minor form of brain injury. But we're learning they can have very long, serious, debilitating, and sometimes deadly effects. Tonight, NBC 25's Mike Woolfolk has a closer look at concussions, how they're managed, and research now underway to better understand them. Baseball may be America's pastime, but football is its passion. And the game that many kids like to play and many of us like to watch in places like the Big House here in Ann Arbor has become more and more dangerous over the years. Concussions have become all too common. Six different chances. That's especially true at the pro level. Hits like these produced a record number of concussions during the recently completed season. In 2015, NFL players suffered a record 182 concussions, a 58% increase from 2014. A concussion is the result um, of either a, a direct or indirect blow to the head um, with some sort of force that's transmitted to the brain. Dr. Stephen Brolio is the lead researcher for concussion at the University of Michigan. He is leading a major project to better understand concussions and their long-term effects. The goal is to really understand how the injury uh, manifests in various populations of athletes and cadets. Christina Henriquez sees that manifestation on a regular basis. She works at Advanced Physical Therapy Center in Grand Blanc, guiding clients through concussion recovery. You're allowing them to kind of manage the symptoms to get them back into the field a lot quicker um, and kind of decrease their symptoms as they have them. Those symptoms can include confusion, clumsiness, nausea, headache, blurred vision, memory loss, and more. But understanding the injury can be difficult because there's no scan doctors can use to get a diagnosis. If I took an MRI of your brain right now, uh, and then three days from now you were out playing uh, flag football and you had a concussion, your brain would look identical to it the way it does now. But it likely would not be functioning the same. Through the use of technology, like the Biodex balance system, therapists can determine the best ways to help an athlete recover and get back on the field. And for the first test, you're just going to be looking straight forward, okay, eyes open. I let Christina Henriquez put me through the baseline balance test. It's four segments, two on a flat surface, two more on a padded surface. Right here is where you were at. So actually, with the eyes open on a firm surface, you were pretty close to where you should be. And in the event of a head injury, I would take this test again. She would then compare the results to determine if I might have a concussion. These tests are similar to the protocols the NFL puts its players through. Commissioner Roger Goodell pledging the league will do all it can to make the game safer. We continue to make rule changes in our game to make the game uh, safer and protect our players from unnecessary uh, injury. The NFL also supporting research to develop better equipment. Helmets up until a few years ago were asked only to protect against skull fracture, not to protect against injury to the brain, and we're trying to do both. Dave Marver's company, Visus, is developing a new helmet that uses soft, bumper-like material that can better absorb the energy of impacts. And back on the U of M campus, Dr. Stephen Brolio using current helmet technology to examine better ways of diagnosing concussions. Ideally, what we'd like to do with the system is to develop a threshold, a biomechanical threshold for injury. So you get hit in this location with X amount of force, you have a concussion, yes or no. Dr. Brolio's project will involve nearly 25,000 student athletes on 30 campuses across the country. It is work he hopes will help not only athletes, but the men and women who serve in the military as well. Mike Wolfo, NBC 25 News. We have links to additional information on concussions, including Dr. Brulio's project, the NCAA's concussion guidelines, and the NFL's Heads Up football program for youth leagues. Now they're all on our website. That's NBC25news.com.